Hey everyone, so I know I haven't made a video in quite some time and you're probably wondering why I'm recording a mirror. So this past weekend I finished this um, really fun project. I was going to film myself making this but I wasn't sure of how it was going to turn out. But now that it's done I thought I would share with you guys all of the products that I use to create I'll this. show you guys up close. So this is how it looks like. I'm just going to try not to get you guys dizzy. So it kind of gives you like that iron metal effect. I guess that's what you call it but I really like how it turned out and there's other ways that I thought of creating it as well but this one worked out fine so, so now I'll show you guys what so I the first use. thing that you'll need are a bunch of these rolls right here and these are either from paper towels toilet paper or even gift wrap if you have that but of course you'd have to collect a bunch of them before you start this project the next thing you're going to need is a paintbrush is a rolling blade and if you don't have this, you could also use scissors, but I find that this rolling blade is a lot faster to work with. If you decide to work with this, definitely be careful because it is a super sharp blade. Then you're also going to need a glue gun and of course extra glue. Then you'll need a garbage bag to protect what you're working on. Then you'll need some acrylic paint and you could choose any color you want. So the color I chose is 4136 in Burnt Umber and I got this at Walmart for $1.27. The last thing you're going to need is a graft cutting board. I find it to be a lot easier and faster to work with instead of using scissors and stuff like that and um, measuring and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick on how I use it. So I'm going to take my roll right here and then just press it down. I'm going to line this edge right here along with one of the lines on the, on the mat. And then we're going to apply pressure with this blade, but remember to be careful with it. And we're just going to go straight down and try to eyeball it to where you match the lines from this end to this end. You could go over it again if you have to. You could turn it over as well and just finish then off. Then you get a perfect and even cut every time. So that's why I find it easier to use a mat that's lined so you could just follow um, where you're cutting. The next step you're going to do is take your paint and your paintbrush and paint away. But if you don't have the patience to paint, then you could also use spray paint as well. After everything has dried up, and it doesn't take that long to dry because I did this the same day. Um, you're just going to create your shape that you want. So you just glue these pieces together like so. Just have them meet up in the middle. And then you would take more pieces and do the same thing. So you'd add glue right there. And then you would add glue on this end right here. And then you just keep doing that until you form the shape that you want. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And sorry I didn't get to record myself making it. But um, when I do decide to create another one, I will definitely share with you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.